electronic systems are rapidly reshaping today's sport bikes, and none illustrates that better than the BMW S1000RR. Now, BMW is pushing the envelope further with novel active aerodynamics that could change how motorcycles negotiate corners. The company's latest concept, Blow Aero, utilizes a fan-driven airflow system to enhance cornering traction, stability, and downforce in ways previously unseen on two wheels. BMW has been steadily broadening its aerodynamics research. It recently filed several patents covering moving winglets and dynamic exhaust flow for performance gains. But this newest innovation stands apart. It centers on a centrally mounted internal fan that intakes air and channels it at high pressure through ducts to specific nozzles positioned around the motorcycle. Those outlets can emit directed airflow to assist acceleration, braking, downforce, or cornering force depending on the situation. The idea echoes historic motorsport breakthroughs. In the 1960s, Jim Hall's Chaparral 2J utilized rear-mounted fans to extract air from beneath the car, generating substantial downforce. Gordon Murray revisited the concept in 1978 with the Brabham BT46B, a car fitted with a fan to pull air from beneath the chassis. Although it dominated its first race, it was quickly withdrawn to avoid escalating an expensive development arms race in F1. Gordon Murray later applied subtle fan-driven aero in the McLaren F1 and revived the approach fully with the GMA T.50 hypercar, which uses a 7,000 RPM rear fan to generate up to 485 pounds of downforce. The concept has even reached extremes with the McMurtry Sperling EV, which uses twin fans to create 4,400 pounds of downforce, enough to hold the car to the ceiling. BMW isn't seeking vacuum-style downforce like those cars, but rather to exploit airflow in a more controlled and adaptable manner on motorcycles. According to the patent, the fan system can route jets of high-pressure air through nozzles aimed rearward for acceleration, forward for braking, upward for added downforce, or sideways to aid turning. Internal flaps and ducts shift the airflow direction instantly based on real-time inputs like speed, lean angle, and rider commands. This kind of adaptive aerodynamic thrust could provide riders with a new layer of control and stability through a corner, particularly at the limits of grip. Unlike conventional winglets that only produce extra downforce at high speeds, BMW's system could help even during slow technical corners, something passive aero can't address. Interestingly, thrust-based interventions on two-wheelers aren't completely new. In 2018, Bosch showed a prototype safety system that used small, one-time gas thrusters to nudge the bike back toward balance during a slide. It functioned similarly to an airbag. Short bursts of high-pressure gas corrected the bike's path. But Bosch's approach required component replacement after each activation. BMW's proposal, driven by a permanent electric fan, is more sustainable and precise, offering repeatable assistance lap after lap. The patent also suggests the system could benefit multiple riding scenarios. Additional forward thrust during braking could shorten stopping distances. Rearward jets might reduce lift during hard launches. And lateral burst could actively help the bike lean into a turn or stabilize at mid-corner, particularly useful during aggressive riding or when grip conditions change. That said, integrating fans and ductwork into a motorcycle poses real challenges. Weight, complexity, and thermal management will all need careful consideration. Lightweight materials and compact packaging will be essential, especially if BMW aims to keep the system feasible for production bikes such as the S1000RR or M1000RR. Electrical load is another concern. Powering a high-output fan could add strain to the bike's charging system. Racing regulations are another major factor. MotoGP and World SBK have long limited active aero to preserve cost control and fair competition. If BMW's system delivers a measurable advantage, it might be barred from race machines unless the rules change. Nevertheless, it could find a practical place on high-performance street models or track-focused specials where innovation faces fewer restrictions. BMW may unveil a next-generation sport bike concept soon, 
possibly at the Via d'Este Concours. That could give us our first look at a prototype using some of the brand's aerodynamic innovations. If a concept debuts with Blow Aero or a variant, it would indicate BMW is serious about moving this tech closer to production. It's easy to picture future S1000RRs or even mid-range sport models offering selectable aero modes. Those modes could tune airflow for different riding environments, track layouts, or weather. The system could integrate with existing traction control, ride-by-wire, and suspension electronics to create a genuinely adaptive chassis that responds to every input. Whether this becomes a standard feature in motorcycle dynamics remains uncertain. For now, it's a bold move toward mechanical assistance, married to electronic control and inventive engineering. If BMW succeeds, it could make high-performance bikes more manageable and confidence-inspiring, especially for riders pushing the edge. But it also prompts fresh questions. Will riders welcome this sort of intervention or view it as diluting the raw riding experience? Will cost and complexity relegate it to expensive flagship models or will it trickle down like ABS and traction control eventually did? BMW's fan-driven aero is among the most radical motorcycle ideas of recent years. Whether it becomes a transformative technology or another prototype that never reaches production, it signals that the future of motorcycling is shifting from just chasing horsepower to adding smarter control. How do you see it? A meaningful safety and performance leap or an unnecessary complication? If you enjoyed this video and want more thrilling content on superbikes, vantage motorcycles, and the latest updates from the motorcycle world, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support keeps us bringing you the fastest news, reviews, and updates on two wheels. Stay tuned. More exciting rides and stories are on the way. Until next time, ride safe and keep the passion alive. Thank you.